When we started about three years ago, we had 15 burgers, 15 different burgers. Now we have over 47 different burgers. Um, we do different kinds of fries, like steak and cheese, bacon and cheese, pork and cheese. So we have about 15, sorry, 17 different fries. Um, we have 12 inch monster dogs, there's a, a very long hot dog, wrapped in bacon with chili meat on top. And we have two types of cheese that we use on the hot dog, Parmesan and cheddar. And we have four different sauces that we use on everything. We have wraps, we have wings, we have combos, like a bunch of different combos we do. And we have an entirely different veggie menu. I did my research on a couple of different things I could try as well. And um, we kept adding to the menu. And sometimes customers would come and they would build their own burgers because we have a build your burger menu with everything that we offer. So you get the option to put whatever you want on the burger. The reason we started doing burgers in the beginning is because I used to live in Trinidad. My husband had came back here to work um, and he fell in love with the country and um, he always wanted us to move back to Guyana. Well, my intentions were to go to Trinidad and live, but he always wanted us to come back to Guyana because he thought Guyana was a really nice place to raise your kids and um, open a business. So when I was there, we, I told him, I said, the variety of food that they have in Trinidad, they don't have that much over here. And we decided, all right, so we're going to come back and we're going to try to see how it goes. And we opened a very small business on Sherry Street, a very small location. So we moved to a bigger location now and we're thinking about opening two other locations. Um, we've had customers from Burbies come and ask us to open locations up there. We've had customers from Linden who came and asked us to open locations over the river. Um, Somebody from Esiquebo came a couple of times. Customers would come in with their mask. We have hand sanitizers at the door. Um, people have been following the, um, the directions given. I think um, even with the COVID, people are still eating junk food. And um, people, you know, enjoy the comfort food in these times. Well, when it first happened, um, I have to say that the business had slowed down because um, we had to we short we had shorter hours that we were operating on and um, i was rotating my staff but um now that it's opened up the country has opened up a little bit more we're seeing progress and um, i think in a couple of months or so things will get back to normal so business has kind of um, slowed down a little bit but we still hear from our customers they still keep in contact with us they um it's just that a lot of them, you know, try to stay in and not come out that much. We do offer delivery service. We do offer, you can order in and pick up. You can WhatsApp us. Um, we'll send you the menu. You can call in and, you know, just come and pick up. Yeah. The only thing we don't do is curbside pickup. We had four people working with us, including my sister. Um, no, we, we, I try not to let go of my staff. I, I kept them because um, what I did is they're working short hours but I'm trying to keep everybody on because the staff here and us are like family and I know that they depend on me for, you know, they pay their bills and, and I depend on them as well.